Hey peeps, welcome to TacosGeeks.com. Welcome to Video Game Flashback. Justin here, and today I will be talking about X Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse. And here we go. As always, here's a brief synopsis. The game begins with the X-Men and Brotherhood of Mutants uniting forces to save Professor X and Polaris. Cyclops, Storm, and Wolverine meet up with Magneto, Mystique, and Sabretooth at a military outpost in Greenland to free Professor X. Upon freeing him, the team relocates the fictional mutant haven of Genosha. They find an island ravaged by apocalypse forces and work through the wreckage and find out that he was searching for it. The team then learns that Quicksilver was kidnapped by Apocalypse, who kidnaps Beast from the X-Mansion. Beast manages to point the team in the direction of the Savage Land, a secret prehistoric preserve in Antarctica. The team works through their way through the Savage Land, temporarily hindering Apocalypse's plans. Apocalypse then travels to conquer New York. And that is the overall synopsis. And can I just say this? I know we're getting Ultimate Alliance 3. Where the hell is X-Men Legends 3? It kind of leaves with a cliffhanger with Sinister. So, you know, you kind of want to wrap up this story. But anyway, X-Men Legends 2, I definitely, um, I, I, I don't know. I had mixed feelings about the second one. I still personally prefer the first one more better because I did like the kind of dynamic they had between Professor X and... And Magneto, I thought they did that story very, very well. While Apocalypse is a good game, I just feel that its predecessor was a little bit better when it comes to terms of story. Gameplay-wise, I do prefer a little bit more uh, Legends. They do have a little bit more characters for us to play with now that we get to be with the Brotherhood of Mutants, such as Night, uh, such as Sabretooth, Juggernaut, uh, Magneto, of course. So they do give you more to do, but from a story standpoint, I still prefer X Men Legends, the original, because I mean, come on, it had the Sentinels, it had a lot more Battle of New York, it, it, and it, it was a real core staple of an X Men story. And one thing I really, really love about this is that Patrick Stewart reprises his role in this. He reprises his role in X-Men Evolution. Like, he really was really into being Professor X. And he really made sure that the fans really... He just made a stamp like, look, I am Professor X. This is my baby. This is my role. This is who I am. This is, this is what I really want to do. And I really... It's rare to see actors really have control of that character. Just to see them even just to do cartoons with the role. Movies and in video games. He made sure he was Professor X. And I still to this day, the perfect Professor X. James McAvoy, of course, he's doing a wonderful job with the... Um, the first class uh, timeline, but here's um, a couple of stuff here. So now we're gonna begin and let's get ready to do some missions and get out of here. All right, so let's go this way. And there's the map on the lower uh, mid part of the screen there. And let me a little good game tip here. And that's how you switch characters. Obviously, this is the PlayStation Portable version, which is still the same version. Just a little bit graphically, a little bit watered down. That's all. I move around. I don't open up doors. All right, so let's go. All right, here comes some baddies. Whoa, here we go. Okay, just open up the door. Huh, I ain't feel like swinging it in. Alright. Gameplay is still solid as ever. Have various mutant powers that you get to uh, various mutant powers that you get to use. You have your specials once you get um, closer and deeper into the game, so such as like Berserker Rage. Um, Wolverine has the ability to heal. Obviously, Cyclops has his Auto Blast Storm to control various elements of wind and lightning, and Magneto can. He's the magnet of magnetism, so he can do all that good, good stuff there as well. So it's pretty cool. 
Uh oh, here we go. I think these are resistant. I think these guys mean they're resistant to energy. But no matter, they're no match for Wolverine. Alternate oh, genetics. And obviously you can't distribute your points and everything else like that, so it's always pretty cool to see. Oh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Was not thinking now my health is low. Alright, Wolverine. Alright, Logan, where we're we going? Trying to get some help for Logan here. Because I didn't like switch out to Cyclops so he could just blow with his beam, so I wasn't thinking. Alright, let's see. I should switch out, but you know what? Screw it. Let's die with honor. Yep, and I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so let's do Storm. Storm is really nice in this game, especially when she gets her win attacks. Like she blows them all the way up in the air, and you can use uh, someone else if you have like a partner. If you're playing multiplayer, it's way more fun. And she could just like toss them up in the air with a whirlwind attack, and you can use Magneto Cyclops to just blast them. Oh, turn it. All right, we're not gonna make it through there. So let's find some alternate way. Got him. Oh, nice. I'm even stronger than before. New power. There's the whirlwind I was talking about. <laughs> I'm going to try to get him. Oh, got him. Yeah, Storm is very powerful in this one. Love Storm. This location is known as the Sanctuary, a retreat of Magneto's. It will serve as our base of operations. And that would be it, you guys. That was one of the first missions to get them out of here. And that was X-Men Legends uh, Rise of Apocalypse. Pretty easy, pretty simple game. Um, simple gameplay gets much more better. And the reason why I like the first one better, I thought they had better, more class of villains. Because you're ba basically battling Magneto, so you're facing the Brotherhood. While this one, it's kind of the, I'm not saying the bottom of the barrel of the mutants that you have to face but it's compared to the first one when it comes to selection uh no i i, I definitely rather go with x-men legends the first one and like i said the sentinels i'm a sucker for the sentinels and and just also original costumes which you can unlock here as well but you kind of start off with that which is always great and let me just show you guys some of the team members here so Let's go. Psy uh, Colossus, Iceman, Juggernaut, Nightcrawler, Jean, Scarlet Witch, Toad, and there's plenty more to unlock. Wolverine, I have to revive with 200, so let's just put in Nightcrawler just so you can get a full one, but it's pretty cool. Nice selection, but I am going to wrap it up here. This is just insane. Later days, you guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.